Hello. Welcome back to the mystical land of Hyrule. I'd like to apologize for the audio quality in that previous video. I'm not going to jinx myself, but I think I figured out what was wrong. I recorded a, a test video before all of the videos where this is going to be the actual, you know, YouTube video. Of course, you can't not record a test video. And I think what's happening is I'm, I'm getting the audio sounding fine, you know, good. Uh, it's never going to be perfect because I don't have a recording studio. I'm in my bedroom. I don't have a lot of sound baffling. There's some reverb. There's some echo. Nothing I can do about that, but I can use the tools I have to get it to sound as good as possible. And I think I'm doing that, and then once I start the actual video, I'm like, okay, I'm on, you know, there's pressure, I have to actually be interesting, and I subconsciously tense up a little bit, which causes me to lean forward and be a little bit closer to the mic, so the perfect sound balance that I had for sitting the proper distance from the mic is ruined by the new close proximity. And I'm going to try really hard to be more cognizant of that in the future. Anyway, enough for, enough of the pre-ramble. Uh, we have I have died twenty times. I have eight hearts of health, uh, which only three of them are going to be full when I load my save. I think maybe the first thing I should do upon loading a save is go to a fairy lake, a fairy spring, and just refill my hearts because starting out with three, that's not going to cut it. And I, you know, I can get lucky and collect hearts or collect fairies, but I should prioritize just uh, getting that up as fast as possible at the beginning. Nice. So the fastest way to do that. I, I almost leaned too close to the mic again. Uh, the fastest way to do that would be to figure out which of these staircases goes to the one with the single green rock. And then from there, I just have to go north. Okay, it's not that one. What happens if I just back out? Okay, that, that just takes me back there. Makes sense. Alright, so I want to get back to the one with the four brown rocks because that's my baseline. And from the four brown rocks... Uh... No, no, no not, not these four brown rocks. The other four brown rocks. This one, yes. Okay, so... Yeah, the way these are connected is not immediately intuitive. So the first one took me to uh, the one I don't have on my map yet. So this one, okay, so that one takes me to the other four brown rocks. Okay, so I guess I can just go back through the same staircase I came through if I want to get back where I was. Okay, so go back through here. Go back through here. That should take me... No? See, it, it takes me to the other four brown rocks. So it's not always one-to-one. -one. This old man is probably starting to get rather annoyed with me. Yeah, it's like the... Maybe maybe it's like the, the whistle. Maybe it's random. Oh, that's so weird if that's the case. Okay. Sorry. Bear with me. So, does the first one always take me to the P-Hats? Okay, so that was four brown rocks, P-Hats, centaurs. Yeah, so it looks like it's, it's in a loop. So this should be the four brown rocks again. By which I mean the one with no enemies. Are the helicopter flower things called P-Hats? I think... I think I rem remember that from the manual. Alright, P-Hats, Brown Rocks. And 
and then green rock. Okay, so it's not random. All right, so th this will take me back to the four brown rocks. All right, so if it follows, if the three staircases follow the same loop, this should go P hats, centaurs. Yes. All right, so if it follows the same loop, what comes after centaurs is the the green rock. Right, so green rock. P hat. No. Green rock, brown rocks, P hats. Right. Alright, so P hats. Centaurs. Green rock? Okay. I think I got it. Of course, I'm going to, you know, have to trial, trial and error my way through that every time because that's, uh, not something I can easily keep in my head, but but at least I know how to get to the ferry. I just, uh, from the starting screen, you go right, right, to the brown rocks. And then, from the brown rocks, you go into the third one, which is the, uh, the green rock. And then, from there, it should loop back around to the brown rocks, right? Yeah. Okay, not that this is necessarily where I want to be, but if I do want to get back to the starting screen, you know, back to the baseline area, this is the fastest way to do it. Okay, uh, so what is my next goal? I have 10, 10 rupees, which is not enough to purchase anything of note. I do have level 6 uh, marked, I know where that is. And... I do know the fastest way to get to it. Which would be... Under underground tunnels. Whoa! Takes a long time to appear sometimes. Alright, so he hats centaurs. And then I want to go south from the centaurs. Try not to get zap zapped by sword lasers. I haven't found a single non boss encounter heart container yet. Which is very disheartening, because at the current rate, I think I'm going to need two more, uh, and I'll need to clear two more dungeons before I can get the magic sword. Okay, there's nothing under any of these fellas, or nothing important anyway. The fellas, the boys. Alright, and I have already tested underneath all of the all of these statues because there is a mysterious second entrance to this dungeon, which uh Vice Commando in the comments pointed out that it's uh some sort of technical there's some technical reason that happens, and uh basically just said not to worry about it. So I won't. I won't worry about it. What I will worry about is unlocking this door because I have four keys. Oh boy. Here we go, whiz robes. Okay, so these shouldn't be as hard to deal with as I remember them, especially if I if I defeat the master right away. That's fun. So as long as I pay attention to which direction they're facing and I'm patient, then I should be fine. You know, the thing that ruined my childhood was not being patient, and I'm much more patient now. That's one of the many new skills that I have gained in adulthood. I'm more patient. Nice. 
I like these things. They drop stuff. Ooh. No effort compass. I was just checking my map to see if I should try bombing that wall. Bats. Bats and endless fireballs. Not my favorite combination. I wouldn't mind them so much if they didn't keep spitting fireballs at me even after I clear the room. Like, I like being able to be patient. Like, not, not only have I learned patience, I actually prefer games that require me to be patient over games that require certain action-oriented skills. Hmm. These two blocks sticking out seem awfully suspicious. The other four blocks I'm not going to be able to push because there are, uh, well, I guess I can push them in a direction. Ow. Yeah, I guess they're all suspicious in some way. Hmm. Well, no, maybe not. I don't know why I'm having trouble keeping track of which item I have equipped. Like, it's right up there in the UI. I, I think it's a pretty good UI. Ow. Maybe it's just having to switch so much more often in this game than, than I do in other Zelda games. It's tripping me up. Oh no, no no no. Like likes. Oh right, the blue ones move around. That's why the blue ones are very terrifying. And the like likes eat your shield. Which, I'm not using the big shield that much, but you know, that's another 130 rupees I'm gonna have to save up eventually that I would really rather not. Do I have any, uh, so I, I do need to start testing weapons against enemies besides the sword, because who knows, some of these creatures might be weak to arrows. Okay, so, so the wiz robes are totally immune to arrows, and the like lakes seem to mostly shrug them off. And the, the fuzzball thing, all that does is make it so I can't use my sword. Wow! Huh. Okay, well, if I do want to visit a fairy lake b before I retry, not going to be that far. I can either do the, the fast travel loop again, or I can just go south. Uh, well, no, that won't actually work. I, I would have to be south, west, south, west, south, south. Yeah, okay, so the fast travel loop would be the fastest way to do that. Hmm, I haven't been east at all here, have I? Well, let's take a look. Maybe I will get lucky and find a fairy friend. I hope the letter to the old lady isn't... I should have been paying attention. Isn't something I'm going to have to find in a cave. Like a random cave that I have to discover. Like, I hope that's a guaranteed item. Or an item I'll find in a dungeon. That doesn't sound like a dungeon item, though. That sounds like an item that someone will give me. Hmm, maybe maybe I'll get a hint about where where to find that letter. A key. I assume I'm at the point in the game where I should just start pushing every block on the screen in in every direction just to rule it out as a secret. And then when I have to come back through through a room, I will know that I've already tried that. 
Okay, this is the bottom edge of the map, so I'm not going to try bombing there. Uh, let's get my boomerang back out. Aim at the eyes of Goma. I probably would have tried that without the hint. But I appreciate it nonetheless. I mean, typically when a boss has a big prominent eye or eyes, that's usually the first place you want to try to hit it. And the reason I still have the candle out is because I'm curious if, uh, if any of these enemies are weak to candles. Ooh! Have I tried pushing all, all of these? I don't- I don't think so. I should. Just to rule it out as a possibility. I wonder if like likes also damage you or if they only eat your shield. It's too bad I can't just temporarily unequip my shield. Or temporarily equip the the smaller version. Alright, that doesn't like travel through them or anything. Okay, so the fire uh makes them split, which means no items, so don't don't want to use fire against slimes. And I've I don't think I've tried bombing both of these walls. Like I think I'm on the western edge of the map. Okay. If I wasn't recording this, and I had infinite time, I might actually make a map of every dungeon uh, just to check off when I uh, when I bomb every wall and, and push every block, just so I don't have to keep trying it. But that would take an unacceptable amount of time. And I, I can pause the recording, you know, keep keep pausing it, but like that's so much you know, so many interruptions. It interrupts my flow. I don't want to do that too much. Hmm. Okay. So this is the hell room. Let's we'll see if any of these things react to the flute. No. And I'm dead. Excuse me for one moment. <clears throat> oh shit, the recording unpaused. Oh, because my hotkey is a key that I used when I was typing just now. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry if you could hear me typing and taking a drink taking a drink. Um Let me just make sure I, I didn't bork my recording somehow. Okay. Okay, I think it's good. Okay. Sorry for the... If you heard that additional pause. Um, so... I'm gonna have to make a decision. Make sure I'm not too close- not too close to the mic. I think I was just now. Like, I can hear myself. Like, I'm- I'm previewing my own audio, but it's not like a one-to-one... -one you know, I, I don't hear how it's going to sound on the final recording, but I can hear sort of a general 
increase. Um, so do I want to go back to a fairy lake every time I die? Oh, boy. Like, I think I do. Like, I think the amount of time that I spend on that overall... ...will be less. Or I can just grind ghosts for a little bit. And hope they drop several hearts or a fairy. If I can do it without losing track of the original. Crud. Yeah, I, I don't think grinding ghosts is the way to go. Because that's not predictable. Like, if the flute... If the warp wasn't random... Then the fastest way would be to go... Back to level 3, probably. Hmm. See, if I had the letter, there's an old lady right there I could I could buy a potion from. Alright, so this is Centaurs. Remember your training, Duke. So, Centaurs, Green Rock, Green Rock. Right, okay. I need flashcards or something to remember this. Ha! Ah. Okay, so that's actually not too bad. If I wasn't if I wasn't dawdling. Okay. And then as long as I remember the loop, so green rock, brown rock, uh he hat centaurs. Alright. I'm learning things. Alright, level 6. Let's see how you fare against Link at maximum health. Or I guess Duke at maximum health. Or maybe Duke is just the name of the file. Hmm. Okay, this room's not too scary. Right, do I want to try bombing my way out of here? Because I know some of the old men get mad when you blow up their door. But I don't think that's going to be an old man who also has advice for me. I think it's going to be a totally uh, unique encounter. Alright, so no, none of the enemies seem to react to the flute. Alright, I can just bypass these. If I, I haven't had a successful run where I kill everything in the hell room. So I have to do that. Hopefully after that, I can just start bypassing the hell room All right, next room should be hell. Yeah. Oh jeez. Yeah, these these Whoa, I can reflect the whiz robe? I the the whiz I I can reflect the whiz. Okay, that makes us slightly less scary. Of 
course, I'm sure once my shield gets eaten, I won't be able to reflect it with my, uh, with my puny shield. Oh god. Okay. These things just teleport around so randomly. I hate it. Alright, so I've tried hitting the lake lakes with arrows. Have I tried hitting them with fire? Yeah. Because these things also take quite a few hits. Okay. So, hopefully, that door is permanently open now, and I can just bypass this room every time. That would be nice. Does getting hit by this... No, I can still use items. Okay, that's good. Because even if the arrows don't do a lot of damage, if they do the same amount of damage as the sword... Um... Oh god. Then... If my sword becomes un unusable, the arrows might be a backup option. Oh my god. Also, the blue ones don't fire with, with any sort of uh, pattern. They just kind of... They just kind of go ham. Okay, well, I, kn I know the loop now. Or I think I do. I'm sure I'm going to have to say it out loud to remind myself. But, you know, do if I do it enough times, it it'll just become... Instinct. That's how practice works. Oh, so this one, I guess that does have to be the leftmost rock. Uh, okay, so Centaur's... Green one? Yes. Alright, so I, I need to go through the first one. So, green one, brown one, P hats, centaurs. So, one and then three. Okay, one and then three. Well, I gotta remember. One and three. One and three. Lucky 13. No, wait. Don't, don't call it that. Call it 1 and 3. You can, you can fly free, fairy. I think letting fairies go is good luck. Which is why I do it if I have any amount of health that is the full life bar. If I have an equal number of hearts to, to my full life bar, I will show mercy to the fairy. Which is good luck. You know, it, it undoes the bad luck from all of those other fairies I captured. I guess I'm not capturing them, I'm just... ...enjoying their company. I mean, the, the graphics of the NES were so primitive. I guess Link could be eating them. You know, who knows? Who knows how that works? Oh god, if I leave the dungeon and come back... Well, no, because that was a... That was a block switch, which means that should be permanently pressed. The reason these shutters are closed is because that's... It's an enemy's shutter. So, I'm gonna have to clear the room of enemies every time. But the... But the... The hell room should be... Should be permanently open. Imagine me crossing my fingers right now. It's not- it's not permanently open. I have to do the hell room every time. I hate this. I hate this game. Zelda, worst game. The Legend of Zelda. For the Nintendo Entertainment System. Is a travesty. Oh god. Ow.
I think the worst thing about the Lake Lakes is you, you never know if you're going to knock them backwards or not. So you always have to be on your on your toes. God. Would you please like settle down? Oh. One and then three. I suppose I could buy some bombs too. While I'm out and about. That might help. Yeah, so with the other brown rocks, I think you can push any of them in, in any direction. But with the centaurs, it has to be that one. Hmm. Okay, and the next closest shop that sells bombs is right next to this too. <clears throat> so, as long as I have... 40 rupees... I can come back, come back here and stock up. Not fully stock up. I can also replace my shield if I have to. And if I've earned enough rupees. In the meantime. I really wish I didn't have to do the hell room every time. I wonder if the door stays open if I don't leave the dungeon. That might be the case. Like, if you leave the dungeon, everything resets. Which means I might be better off trying to do it with three hearts instead of... instead of making the loop. Although I'm glad, you know, one, once I figured it out, it doesn't take that much time. It could be a lot worse. I don't need the candle for any of these next rooms, do I? I think that was only, only to the... Look at that formation! Oh, and, and they drop nothing. Excellent. Yeah, the candle room was, was to the east. Okay, well, it was nice enough to give me my heart back. After it, it, the game ripped it out of my chest and tore it to pieces. Wait, so I can I can block these fireballs? Like I, I thought I tested whether I can block these fireballs with the big shield, and I couldn't. Maybe, maybe it just hit me at the wrong angle, or something. I don't know. Or maybe these fireballs are, are different somehow. Or no, maybe, maybe I only tested, oh god, the, uh, the boss fireballs. Oh, it dropped a bomb. I, I thought I was, like, surprised and accidentally pressed the B button again. God. I hate Wizrobe so much. Okay, I killed it before I could finish eating my shield. That's good. I'm not above using save states to finish this game if I have to. I hope it doesn't come to that. But if it does, it's better than not finishing the game. Okay, so next time I die, I'm going to have to... Test and see if that shutter is still open. I don't I don't have to kill those. I only have to kill them if I want to go backwards. Oh, it's this guy. 
the guy whose fireballs my shield doesn't block. Oh, and this one has three heads. How come I couldn't hear it roaring before I entered this room? Did, uh, did that do anything? No. Does this do anything? Of course not. Why would it? Music doesn't have charms to soothe the savage beast. I don't know who told you that. They were a liar. They probably play the liar. Um... Of course. Okay, well, let's just make sure I don't... If I do accidentally press the B button, I don't want something horrible to happen, like blowing myself up. So, switch to the boomerang for safety. Well, now if I don't leave the dungeon, I have to get to the dragon and fight it with three hearts. And I'm pretty sure that that shutter is still going to be closed. Like, I, I don't think it matters whether I leave the dungeon or not. I think the game is mean. Oh! It is clear. Okay. Okay, that changes the formula. I think I have two walls up here that I haven't bombed. Because I was just in such a hurry to get out get the hell out of that room. Okay, so now that room or that way is permanently open. Okay. Hmm. Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh, Jesus, take the wheel. It's okay. That's still going to be open. I probably didn't even have to try to kill those things. I mean, it's always good practice to clear a room at least once, just in case something drops. Alright, well, now that I know the Hell Room stays clear, I don't think I want to do the Fairy Loop anymore. Like, I, I think keeping that room clear is more important. Because if I can make in incremental progress, I might eventually push my way to something that helps. I don't know what. I don't know what you get in this dungeon. I hope it's something good. God, I hope it's the magic wand. Can you imagine? A permanent long range weapon? Oh, that would be so sweet. Maybe it's, the, maybe it's the letter. Can't I doubt that, but it's possible. Oh, Jesus. I was right to fear whiz robes. It turns out. I've, I've tried that wall. What am I thinking? Obviously, I've tried to bomb that wall. If 
by the end, end of this game, I wonder how my final death counter is going to compare to, to Dark Souls. I don't think I can easily compare the two, because I don't think Dark, Dark Souls had a death counter. I'd have to go back and watch the entire series and count how many times I died. I mean, I am making very tiny amounts of incremental progress every time I die, except for that last time, and the time before that. But other than that, every time. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Wiz robes are now my sworn enemy. Okay. This room doesn't seem too bad. I mean, even if I do find the letter, like, the potion costs at least 100 rupees, right? Or I think the the blue one, which is the small version, or the version that can be used once, costs like 60. And I think the red version costs 100-ish. Okay, well, that's the map. That's something. Seems to be chameleon-shaped. Oh, Jesus. I can't just- I can't run from every room that has wizard robes in it, though. That's not a sustainable strategy. Okay, this one is just orange ones. That is doable. And they drop stuff. I wonder if there's some trick to figure, figuring out which one is the quote-unquote leader. The one that if you kill, all the other ones die. There's some, like, difference in how it behaves. Because that's that seemed more common with the Wiz Robes than it seems with some other enemies. Killing one of them, and they all die. I think the fact that the beeping stops when you pause, or when you go to the menu, I think that makes a big difference as far as how annoying it is. Like, at least I have some amount of control over it. Alright, let's bring out the candle just in case I need it. And it pauses when, when you go from room to room. Okay, that's that room. Which... I don't remember if I've been there before or not. Eventually I'm going to have to kill all those wizard robes. Secrets where fairies don't live. Okay, so I think that's the hint that you need to blow the flute at the, the lake that doesn't have a fairy. Honestly, all, all, all of these tips so far have been legit. I mean, they haven't been extremely useful, all of them, but they at least haven't been lies. Okay. What was that roaring I just heard? Like, the one about, you know, the first one you see about the Northeast Peninsula. I mean, that basically just tells you what the compass tells you. You know, redundant information. Oh, it would be cool if I could find a dungeon item. Actually, I'm going to look at the manual and see what item I get from this dungeon. Because that is information... 
that would have been available for me. Oh, it is the magic wand. Okay. Also, it says that this dungeon shape is a dragon. I think it looks more like a chameleon, personally. Hang on, let me find the picture to see how they how they got dragon out of that. Um, hmm. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say that's that's the chameleon shape, like the the part where the the triforce is is like. The head area, and then you can see its hind legs there, and then its tail kind of curling around. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it BS manual. Okay, so you do get the magic wand from this dungeon. And I'm sure it's going to be one of those rooms where I have to kill all the whiz robes. And I'm just gonna have to grit my teeth and get through it. I wonder if I should be... Killing the easy whiz robes for goodies. Easy, I say, as I get hit. Have I pushed all, all, of, all of these blocks? Like, there hasn't been one... So far, there hasn't been a pushable block in a dungeon that was optional. All, all of them are either... Uh, get to the secret, you know, the dungeon item, or unlock a, a mandatory shutter. I mean, I guess you could not get the dungeon item, but I think you, I think you need all of them to finish the game. Okay, what would be the easiest way to deal with these bats? Okay. Yeah, the wooden arrow doesn't travel through enemies. It just... I think I think you have to have the silver arrow before that's a thing. Okay, my health is relatively good. So there are two rooms to the east. I, I already tried bombing that wall, that was nothing. Uh, I don't think bombing west is going to do any good. Alright, so I haven't been south here. Let's try that. I mean, that door is just wide open. Oh, gargoyles! Fun! I haven't seen y'all in a while. So, these things, they split. I'm not powerful enough to, to kill them in one shot yet. Does that, in does that include arrows? It does. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that includes fire, too. Can I charm them with the music of the flute? Or, I'm sorry, the recorder. I had a music class in elementary school where we got to play recorder. That was pretty fun. I think it's a nice entry-level musical instrument. Maybe not as good as an ocarina, but you know, for for a child like Link, who who is a child, canonically, I think it's good. Uh, you know, good for Babby's first instrument. All right, I just have to stop talking here and focus. Okay, I can get hit by that thing. That's fine. Oh, that was a relatively good bomb placement. I don't want to use all of them, though. 
Alright. I'm excited about this room. Because seeing a single block like that often means secret passageway. And secret passageway often means treasure. I can't scientifically say that it's a one-to-one, -one, you know, uh, phenomenon. But it is a strong correlation. It's like if the blue ones get a beat on you, they just don't stop. They just keep firing. As long as you'll let them. I guess they, they do eventually teleport. I, I think this enemy is worse than any teleporting enemy in any game I've ever played. Okay. Secret passage. Clear out the bats. There has to be some sort of, sort of limitation on the magic wand, right? Like, it must be very weak until you find the book to upgrade it. Because otherwise, why wouldn't it just be a permanent replacement for the sword? Maybe it's strong against certain enemies. I mean, it's, it's another tool in my toolbox to try. Alright, so I'm in the head of the chameleon now. And... So I, I can hear the boss in the next room. And I doubt it's going to let me bomb my way in there. Didn't think so. Had to try though. Had to try at least once. Okay, gargoyles. I can deal with gargoyles. Ooh. I think I killed the leader. And I made them all explode into bats. Or maybe that was just an extraordinarily well-placed fireball. I don't know. I'll have to review the footage. Okay. Yeah, doubt there's going to be anything to the east. Because that's the edge of the map. Oh, jeez. Oh, this room is bad. Oh, no. I'm trying to decide if I want to heal. I'll have to redo that first room with the whiz robes. Then after that, I think I have a clear path because it's all walls that have been bombed or doors that aren't locked. I think it's worth it. What's up, Centaur? You know, I realized for the first time ever recently that the enemy from Final Fantasy, the Cactuar, isn't spelled the same way as Centaur. It's spelled U-A rather than A-U. And I, th I think I noticed it because I was watching something where there was in-game VO and they pronounced it with a very distinct difference, you know, they said cactuar rather than just cactar. 
I don't know. That's one of those late in life realizations. Like, Phoenix Down, I think I got pretty early in life because I I first encountered Phoenix Down in a game at around the same time I learned what down feathers are. So I made that connection as as a youngin. I was like, oh. It's like Phoenix Down Feathers. I think I think I just uh I encountered like a goose down pillow or something. I'm like, goose down? What's that? And it made me look up the word down and get the context for that. And I, I sort of put those together. Which I, I'm, I'm sure plenty of people did, you know. But that's one of those sort of late in life, uh, you know, mind blowing revelations people often have about Final Fantasy. And, and for me, it was the, the different spelling of cactuar. I wonder if that was just a typo, like a mistake, or if it was intentional for some reason. I don't know. Maybe they weren't trying to invoke Centaur at all. Maybe they were trying to invoke something else. Which, I mean, the Cactuar is not very Centaur-like. A, a Centaur is half human, half horse, and a Cactuar is all cactus. It's just like a humanoid cactus. Yeah, I should keep my bombs equipped. Ah. Ooh. Wonder how long that fairy stays on the screen. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, the fairy doesn't stay on the screen long. I was hoping it would stick around so I could heal any damage that I take from this fight. But nah, the fairy peaced out. Which, I, I don't blame it. This is a bad scene. I would have peaced out too. I would have flown as far as my little wings would carry me. I don't want anything to do with these disgusting meat pancake tubes. Ugh. And when you look at their uh, portrait in the manual, it's just as horrifying as you imagine based on the sprite. Alright, so I just need to go here and then go south. Don't even bother with the candle. And then kill some gargoyles. No problo no probalo. I can kill gar gargoyles all day long. It's interesting that these bats are red rather than blue. But there's no mechanical difference. They all seem you know to die in one hit and behave pretty much the same. I say they just wanted some visual difference between the enemy and and the ads. Which I mean the slimes are you know the little slimes are the same color as the big slimes. So I don't know. I'm assuming there's not one way bombable walls. Like I can bomb like, I tried bombing my way into this room. I don't think there would be a situation where I can bomb my way back. And that didn't work. Oh boy, that's right. I have two hell rooms. Not one, two. Oh no. Like, I, I hear all of those... The sound effects for all of the Wizro beams. And I just... I just freak out. I panic. Thank you. 
This would probably be a lot easier if I had found more heart containers and would have gotten the magic sword by now. The game might expect me to have the magic sword based on on how difficult all of these how many hits all, all these enemies take, take to kill. And it might expect me to have the, the letter from the old lady too. Because this is brutal. Like, I don't know how to find that stuff though, other than just bombing every bombable surface in the overworld. And I don't want to do that during a let's play. That's not good television. Wait. Oh. Did I already... Yeah. I already used the candle in this room. I was going to try to, uh... Maybe get both of them at once. Ah. Oh. No! No, no, no. If I can kill the boss, I'll get the Triforce and that'll restore all my hearts. Are you kidding me? Oh, but that'll also warp me out of the dungeon, though. <sighs> well, I guess I could see if nine hearts is enough to get the magic sword. I kind of doubt it is. I'm pretty sure it's going to be ten. Also, my max health is sixteen, not twenty. Which I guess there's really only room for eight hearts per row, so... <laughs> I haven't really tried going back through a dungeon after I already killed the boss and got the Triforce. Oh no. Oh, I should have gotten the Triforce. Hmm. Maybe after you get the Triforce piece, the dungeon's easier. Am I going to have to kill the boss again, though? I mean, not that that was a huge deal. Okay, well, the rooms that I've cleared are cleared. Well, the bad ones. I still have to clear the bat room. But bats are okay. I can't believe the boss died in one hit. Like, I seem to- I, I think I remember arrows being effective against it. I didn't know they were that effective. Crikey. Ow. It's kind of like how in Mega Man 2, if you use the metal blade, against Metal Man. He dies in one hit. He's weak to his own... pack. Which, I guess that doesn't really apply for Goma, because... it doesn't shoot arrows at you. Or does it? I killed it so fast I didn't even find out. Maybe it does shoot arrows at you. Light a candle.
rang some bats. I don't know if I like using rang as a word that's short for boomerang. Something about it seems icky to me, and I, I can't put my finger on what. Rang. Ugh. Alright, this room is still clear. Have I tried bombing each of these walls? I don't remember. Okay. Was this one exactly in the center? It wasn't, but it doesn't matter. Ugh. Kill the easy stuff, see if it drops any hearts. Dang it. Do gargoyle gargoyles count as easy? I don't know. I don't think they do. And they don't drop anything, so who cares? Oh, did I want to go back in this room yet? No, I wanted to try to get the... I don't know what I wanted to try to do. Oh no, if I had just kept facing that whiz robe. I would argue that this is the worst room in the game. So far. Alright. No fooling around. I don't need to... I don't need to kill any enemies on the run back to that room. I mean, I will kill these for goodies. Oh, God, what I would do for a clock in one of the wizard robe rooms. I have to kill these bats. Like, this isn't even a challenge, it's just tedious. Like, why doesn't this room stay clear? I, I guess because bats are category of enemy that respawn. And that's just the way it is. And that's the way it's going to be. No? Like, I don't know... I don't know what I have to do in that room, either. Like, maybe I have to kill all the whiz robes. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get the Triforce and, and see if that, or, you know, kill the boss again if I have to. And get the Triforce and see if that changes the dungeon at all. Like, does it... I'm, I'm not going to hold out hope that it keeps enemies from, from respawning, but maybe it replaces some of them with, like, weak, weaker enemies. Or something. I mean, I'm stealing the source of dungeon power, the Triforce. That should just make all of the enemies disappear. Oh, whiz robes might count as an easy enemy. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, you couldn't drop a fairy. I forget how many heart containers I needed to get the the white sword. Was it three? Did I get it after the third dungeon? If that's the case, I might actually be able to get the magic sword. Because... It would be three and then three. Oh, I've, I, I guess I've gotten more than that, though. Wait a sec. So you start with three. Right. Yeah, and I've gotten six heart containers. Hmm. Alright, so after I get the Triforce, I'm going to be at full health. So I'm going to give this dungeon one more try from full health. 
And if I can't find the magic wand, then I will see if I can get the magic sword. Oh, crud. <clears throat> I bet I could one-shot the gar gargoyles if I had silver arrows. I have no idea where, where you get those, though. Like, that- I think that's one of those super late-game things that... I... haven't watched a playthrough recently enough to remember. And I don't have hazy half-memories from playing it as a kid. I do remember you need silver arrows to defeat the final boss. Like, that is one piece of information that I have been exposed to enough times to re to retain. Um, but yeah, no, no idea where you find them. I don't want to kill these gargoyles, so I won't. Oh no. Alright, Triforce, or do I have to kill the boss again? Okay. Yeah, I feel kind of silly for not immediately getting the Triforce. But I really didn't want to be kicked out of the dungeon. I don't know. Ooh! You see that? Little side shuffle. Let's see that again. Never mind. Oop. Nah. It's something you can only do by accident. Maybe once you get the Triforce, those rooms are permanently clear. God, I hope they are. That would be so nice. Of course, why would the game be nice? Okay, free bombs. I'll take it. Saves me 20 rupees. Of course, the game drops hearts when I'm at full health. Look at this! I'm filing a lawsuit. Is the room clear? I'm gonna say no. My mo my money is on no. All right, what do I win? Oh, I'm still technically at full health. Oh, never mind. was a short-lived victory. Boy, getting that Triforce didn't change this dungeon at all. Does it make it so you can push the blocks without killing all the enemies? No. I don't have a good alternate name. For the like likes. I think that's a bad name, but I don't know what to call them instead. I mean, meat, meat pancakes, but it's not snappy. I want to try to kill this dragon. I mean, there has to be some reward for this, right? I'm pretty sure the magic wand is going to be this one has something to something to do with the lava wizard room. But this dragon it's gotta it's gotta be something, right? Yeah. 
That doesn't do squat. Oh, my shield doesn't block those. My shield doesn't block that. This head can fuck off. Oh no. Hmm. Oh, thank god. Okay, hopefully that, that's dead forever. It probably won't matter, because... I don't... Oh! That just goes... to a room... I've ar already been to. I could have bypassed that dragon with no consequences. Well, don't I feel foolish. Yeah, it's just another way to get back on the path of the magic wand. Alright, there are no rooms I haven't been in. But wait. Did I just leave the room and come back and all the like likes were gone? That was weird. Hmm. I don't know. And not knowing is none of the battle. All right, there's one more place that, that I think I've I've never tried bombing. So I'm going to try to try. To, I'm going to kill these gargoyles so I can escape this room. Mm. Mm. Oh, the bats kind of disappear against the lava. That's an interesting aspect of them being red. I mean, I guess you can still see them pretty clearly from their eyes. I don't think I'm going to clear that room with the amount of health I have. So I might as well try to ascertain some information. Alright. I'm going to see if I can get the magic sword. I don't have high hopes. Alright, let's see if I remember this. So, centaurs... green. No! I mean, I guess the way they do the underground tunnels is the only way that makes sense. Unless they wanted to do it all video gamey and just have four staircases that always correspond to the same four locations, which wouldn't make sense from a re you know a realistic point of view. Um. All right. So quickest way back to the graveyard would be. Mm. Oh, it's actually it's actually the centaurs again. Okay. So I want to go down and then left. I'm sorry, south and then west. And then west again. It sounds more adventurous when you use cardinal directions. Oh, it's actually not that far at all. Please. I think I've mastered using it. I feel confident.
I've mastered the recorder. I'm not desperate. You're desperate. Hey. How, how did I lose track of the real one? That was weird. Okay. Well, you know what else I have? Is enough rupees to buy the secret from the last lady. Or, not the last lady, the most recent lady offering to sell secrets. any bombs. Boo. Alright. Ah, moblins. What a quaint enemy. For a simpler time. Moblins never venture into the dungeon, so they'll never know the horror of whiz robes. better that way. I mean, there's still parts of the map that I haven't explored, too. That's, an, that's another option. Like, I feel like I was so close to getting the magic wand, though. I mean, I'm certainly not ready for level 7. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing the next dungeon until I have the, the magic wand. But there might be some more supplemental stuff. That can help. Like, I might stumble into a heart container, which would allow me to... I assume, get the magic sword. North... West, south, west to the Forest of Maze. Okay, so I, I assume that means the Lost Woods. Yeah, it has to. Okay. See? Cardinal Directions. Learn them. I remember something about these trees. Northwest, southwest. Northwest, southwest. Northwest, southwest. I don't think I can burn the trees, but I th there's some secret associated with them. Northwest, southwest. Northwest, southwest. Probably be easier to me for me to just leave the screen to the east and come back. Northwest, southwest. Northwest, southwest. North, West, South, West. Oh, that's it? It's just a shortcut? It's just a shortcut? I could have... I guess it would have been faster than... Going back to the last fast travel point. Oh. 
Yuki hat dropped hearts. As it indicated it would. I think I'm going to explore some of the map that I haven't searched yet. Which I kind of prefer not to do that for for recording purposes. Like I think it's more more interesting to. Well, I mean, I guess exploration is interesting, but like I have to to pause and make notes on my map. And if I do try the second quest, I'm going to have to take a completely different approach to mapping. Because you don't start with any information for the second quest. On the one hand, that means... Uh, one. Uh, on the one hand, that means... It'll probably be easier for me to map, because I can just use a single sheet of paper with like a 16 by 8 grid on it. Since I won't actually be, be drawing anything, I'll just be making notes on it. Um, but it still means basically pausing at every screen and making a note about everything. Like, I I'm not going to, like, <clears throat> I don't know. Part of me wants to, like, make a note about every flat wall. You know, every, every everywhere I try to bomb and there isn't a thing, or every bu bush that I try to burn. But the bushes, I mean, I'm sure whatever I, I haven't found, I could wait until I get the right handle, right? I don't know. Oh, I want P-hats. Where was P-hats? So... This one? Yeah. Okay, so where where exactly is this? Hang on, let me just clean house a little bit. This wall right here looks extremely suspect. I wish I I had a bomb. Okay, I don't have to to do that because I've cleared all the threats. So this is Okay, so this this screen right here is actually on the map. Or is it? Wait, no. Like, you can see the bottom left corner of a lake, but... Wait a sec. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm high. I don't I don't know what I'm looking at. So when you go south from here. Okay. Okay, so so this lake is more complicated than it looks on the map. Got it. Ooh. That's extraordinarily good luck. Two fairies on one screen when you're at full health. It's like finding an egg with two yolks. Alright. So if I go this way... I guess I can at least explore a few screens at, at, you know, at one time. And then pause and make a note about all, all, all of those screens. Um, yeah, I don't have this shop on the map at all, I don't think. So if I go down this ladder, I think that will take me to the Lost Hills. 
No, that takes me to that screen. Okay, this whole area looks kind of similar. Okay. Alright, I'm going to pause the recording and just take a few notes real quick. Okay, so I just took several notes about the surrounding area here. So, you have these eight statues, which look similar to another screen that has eight statues. But is a different one. Also, the other one with eight statues in this formation has a cave right here. So I suspect that if I place a bomb here, there might be a cave. Because they want it to be like symmetrical. And then to the west, you have the uh, the lost. Lost Hills. I, I actually didn't did not want to do that. Um So I'm going to do this. Thirteen deaths to clear uh, Dungeon 6. Okay, this is a function that, that's in the game. It tells you about it in the manual. So I'm going to take advantage of that to quickly get back to the starting area. Because once I'm back at the starting area, it's very fast to go, go to a fairy spring and get back to where I was. I totally forget which of these leads where. Um, so brown rocks, he hat, centaur's spring? Yeah. I mean, not directly the spring, but close enough. Also, while I'm in this neighborhood, I just want to sneak off to the right here and stock up on bombs. I have enough to buy 12, so I will. Because there's a lot of stuff up in that area that I want to try bombing. I'll take three of these, my good sir. I'll take two of these, my good sir. This is like those automatic checkout things at the gro grocery store where they won't let you type in a number and say, I want to buy three of these. You just have to scan, scan each one individually. Alright, so hill green, brown, hat. Excellent. Alright, also I don't think I've tried fighting all, all of these statues yet. Okay, well that theory was wrong. Okay, good to know. I apologize if I've already already tried bombing those and forget. This is why I write everything down. Except the stuff I forget to write down. Secret is in the tree at the dead end. Okay. Well. The old lady who sold me the secret was at a dead end. There were four trees there, and I tried bombing all all of them. Maybe I should try, or I tried burning all of them. Maybe I should try bombing them. I don't know what would happen if you bombed a tree. All right, so if I go south, this area is marked on the map, and there's a big old fat question mark right on this rock. So this has to be something. I mean, almost by definition. <gasps> oh! 
Oh yes. Get that bottle out of my face. Seriously, who would choose the bottle? Well, a child who doesn't understand the difference between a temporary and a permanent boon. Alright, so if I go left, if I go west, that takes me to the big deserty area. And I don't really think there's anything special about that. I think it's just... Just a place you can go to fight some fight some sand, sand crawlers if you want. Alright, so left takes me to the Lost Hills. I've already tried bombing this wall. Pretty much all of it. That fairy can fly free. I kind of feel like I've ar already tried bombing this wall too, but I don't think I've really... Nope. Haven't been here enough in the past. Oh. It's another one of you. Okay. I didn't mean to say that so derisively. Like, oh, another one of you. Uh, I just can't do anything here yet, so I'm just going to write this down real quick. Okay, I realize that if I do have to map the second quest, like, it's not going to be enough to write notes about everything, because I'm still not going to have any idea of how anything connects, right? So like on this screen, like if, if I found a screen like this in the second quest, and I just wrote down, you know, underground tunnel entrance or fast travel point or whatever, like, can I come this way from, like, can I get to the south fast travel point if I come from the south? Well, yeah, but you have to go, you have to go up the ladder. You know, can I get, can I get to the fast travel point I'm traveling there from the east? No. You have to go down and around. And it's not a huge deal here, but th there are going to be other examples where it's going to be more difficult to suss out. So, like, I'm going to have to, like, draw where ladders connect to stuff and just all kinds of stuff. Okay. I'll take some money. I'll, I'll take 30 monies. Alright, I don't think there's ever going to be a door... ...on, like, a single tile. Like, I think you're gonna have to have at least two wall tiles side by side. Last on my bombs. Oh! Hello. I will show it to the old woman. Okay. So that would be the very top right corner of the map. Oh, money-making game. All right, let me make a note real quick. Okay, I might as well make a token effort. Oh, lost 10 rupees. Lower stakes than the other money-making game. So would any, any of these be the tree? Or is, is this the tree at the dead end? Is that what the hint meant? Because I don't need a hint about that. The tree has... A big door on it that I'm going to walk through. <laughs> like, it doesn't tell you how to find the tree at the dead end. Yeah, that's one of those hints that's like factually true, I guess, but not super useful. It's 
one of those hints like, use keys to open doors, you know? Like, yeah. I, I, w I would've gotten it, don't worry. I just want to clear the screen. Well, I, I suppose I don't have any bombs. And I don't think candles are going to do anything. Maybe it meant one of these other trees has a secret. Because, I mean, this isn't a secret. This is just a door. It's a tree with a door in it. Maybe one of these other trees is the secret. But the lady that sold me hints was also at a dead end. So maybe I need to try bombing those trees. Dang. Shouldn't have pressed my luck. Okay, well. Now where? Well, I still need to see if I can get the magic sword now. With my ten hearts. I hope I can. I'm just checking real quick to see... If there are any more notes that, that I want to make. Sorry, I keep turning to look at my map. Alright, so that's fast travel. Oh, I guess I can check real quick and see, now that I have the letter C, how much potions cost. Oh, do I have to actually use it? Okay. I can do that. Oh! 40 and 68? That's better than I was expecting. I wonder if I have to show her the letter every time. Nope. And I wonder if the prices are different at different old ladies. I want to write these down. Alright, if the next old lady I find also charges 40 and 68, I'm going to assume that they're all the same. Otherwise, I have to keep track of that, so I always find the best deal. Or I can buy them as cheaply as possible. I guess I could have bought a blue potion, but honestly, I would I'd rather wait until I have 68 so I can buy the red one, which can be used twice. Um Wait, yeah, no, this... No, sorry, I keep getting confused because this area looks so similar to the other one. So I want to go to Centaurs, which come after... Eha? They do. Nothing happens when you show the Centaurs the letter. I wonder if the other old lady will give you hints for free if you show her the letter. Hey, they're all going to be 40 and 68. Oh. That would be nice of them. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Oh. It doesn't even make a noise if you press the B button with the letter. And you're not in front of an old lady. You'd think it would at least go <clears throat> or something. Alright, have I mastered using it? I think I have. I'm ready, Sensei. I'm ready for, for your gift. Would this letter persuade you, perchance? I know it says sell, sell Link the Potions, but... I mean, if the lady will sell me potions, 
obviously that means I'm ready for, for the magic sword too, right? Okay. I haven't found Spectacle Rock yet. And I was kind of expecting to. Spectacle Rock is the two boulders where one of them takes you to level 8. Okay, well there's pretty much one other place on the map that could be All right, the fastest way would be, I mean, if if this is if the flute is nice to me, the fastest way would be going back to level 1. Oh, I can warp here now. That's nice. Where is this? This level two. Oh wait, that's level five. Okay, yeah, this is actually way faster. Alright, as soon as I have 68 rupees, I'm going to buy the rip potion, and I'm going to conquer Dungeon 6. So help me god. And hopefully in the process of exploring this last bit of unexplored map, I will accumulate that many. Ow. That boulder just did zero damage to me. Link's kind of a beast. Alright, there is a very sus suspicious arrow on the map, right after these two Mandelbrot Mountains. And the, the arrow pointing left. Which I will go left. I believe the arrow, when it says that left is important. I wish I had bombs. Alright, so there's another Mandelbrot set over here. <laughs> Need bombs. Give me bombs. Do, do I want to immediately try bombing some of these walls while I'm here? I think I do. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a sound strategy. Oh. That's some, something that happens in the overworld? I thought that was a dungeon thing. Oh, I misremembered. Huh. Well, that was a disappointing find. Oh. Goodbye, bombs. Who builds their home behind a stone wall at the top of a mountain range? I mean, someone who doesn't want to be disturbed, I, I suppose. Alright, are these blue enemies going to be nice and drop bombs for me? This is Spectacle Rock. This is where, not not Dungeon 8, but the last dungeon is. I've already found Dungeon 8. 
I keep forgetting there are nine dungeons. That's a lot of centaurs. And more medicine. Okay. BRB notes. Okay. The reason I wanted to find Spectacle Rock was because I think that the other one, whichever rock doesn't doesn't have the uh, um the dungeon entrance, I think it might have a heart container. I might just be misremembering. And I'm actually thinking of the boulder that I already found the heart container in. But I mean, okay. So there are nine dungeons. I assume you you don't get a heart container in the last one because you've you finished the game the game by then. There are nine dungeons or eight 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 heart containers in dungeons. You start with three, so that's twelve, which means there are four heart containers scattered around the world. And, I, and I've only found one of them. Okay, yeah, I was misremembering. Oh, you get to hear the spooky final dungeon music, though. What horrors await us in level 9? Okay, well... You try it, old man. You made a valiant effort. Come here, fairy. Come here, fairy. Come here, fairy. Sprinkle your magic fairy dust on me. Make me healthy. I beg you. Man, do you think the old lady's medicine is made out of, like, fairy dust that she has to harvest from all the fairies that she keeps locked up in the basement? Sorry. That's kind of grim. Okay. So, I have five bombs. There's still many places I would like to try bombing. Um, also, I'm pretty close to filling out the entire map. I really only have... Like, two more screens. Alright, this time for sure. Yes. Excellent. I am at zero. Clean slate. Empty wallet. Tabula rasa. You know, an and empty wallet is a significant object. A full wallet attracts no rupees. That's what they say. And I know my wallet wasn't you know, full, per se. Wait, the fairy only- does she only give you three? Oh, so even though the, P the P-hats are frozen, I still can't kill them because they were- they were hovering at the time? Oh well, at, at least they, they don't damage me. That's good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that bomb was placed you know, I'm pretty sure it, it was it was fine. All right, so this is approximately where I found the power bracelet. All right, I I do have written down that this shop sells bombs, but my printout is kind of dark because it's black and white, so it's not that easy to see my writing on top of it. I mean, not, not that I'm coming here a ton, anyway. Haha. Ha. Joke's on you. Sure, I'll pay you. Pay 
I get every every rupee I have. How about that? Hmm. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out exactly where I am. Okay, so this is the second... Wait. Okay, so eventually I want to go back up the ladder north. Right, so this ladder... Slightly confused by my map here, sorry. Wait, I know I know where I am. Okay. Dang. So this looks like it might be another tree at another dead end. Or something. I don't know. But I haven't been there yet. Okay. Wait, I, I have graves written down. Oh, I don't know. I'm sorry, I have to get reoriented. I'm going to pause real quick and figure out where the hell I am. Okay, sorry about that. I, I know where I am right now. Uh, I am currently... The square right above where the fast travel point would be uh, with with the p-hats or with the centaurs rather so I haven't there are several directions I haven't gone um, also I don't think I've uncovered all of these statues and I apologize for, for getting confused a lot of these sections look pretty similar and the map that I printed out makes it very hard to see the ladders because they they blend in with the mountain face because they're all the same color. So I'm sorry about that. Also, I'm sorry if I was too close to the mic. Um, I I've been trying to be conscious conscious of that. If I've found myself leaning forward too close, I'm trying to make myself lean back. Keep about. You know, four fingers of distance between me and the mic, which is the recommended amount for this kind of mic. So I haven't been up this ladder. Um, let's do that now. So this is just to the west of the dead end with the lady who sells the potions. I don't know if, uh, if a secret door will be right on the edge of a screen like that. Oh, I don't have- I have zero rupees, which means zero arrows. I can't charm the centaurs with music, and I narrowly avoided the, the whirlwind. Very difficult to time your shots when when several enemies with ranged attacks are facing your direction. Same problem I was having with the whiz robes. Centaur City up here. Luckily, these centaurs are a little more spread out. That wall looks like a wall that has a secret. Couldn't tell you why. Call it a hunch. Call it intuition. This is definitely a heart container. Oh shit, I, I already unpaused. Sorry, I was just, you know, reciting some fiction uh, to myself. 
you know, mind. Out of bombs. Don't have enough arrows. Someone suggested that the reason for the blue candle only being usable once per screen is because otherwise it would be an overpowered weapon to get early on. And I can kind of see that. Like, it is possible to stun lock the enemies to a certain extent. Alright, I have four bombs. How do I want to use them? We have more trees at what appears to be another dead end. Something that might be an arrow trying to point me in a direction? It's not possible to get that middle tree entirely on the screen. That's interesting. It's all that coming. All right. I'm gonna go get some health and then figure out the quickest way to get back there. I have tried burning this bush, right? Okay, something about it stuck out to me. I'd really like to get the magic wand before I finish this video. I know I finished dungeon 6, but I won't feel like I finished it until I get the wand. Alright, so he has he has centaur green. Yeah. I'm actually extremely low on rupees right now. It's going to be a very long time before I can buy that red potion. But I feel better equipped to take on centaur territory now. Now that I'm at full health. So I want to go past level 1 here. Man, that's bad luck. Two fairies I don't need. Ooh. Pulls it collar nervously. Alright, go over that river. And through the woods. Wait. Okay, this might not be exactly the direction I wanted to go, but I'll figure it out. Alright, so there's the statues with the two ladders. Okay, I know where that is. What exactly is to the west? This is where I found the bracelet. What happens if I go west from here? Okay, it's that screen. I'm just usually... In yeah, right, of course, that's the fast travel screen. I'm just usually not on the side of the wall. Also, according to the map hints, much as blue enemies are more likely to drop bombs, red ones are supposed to be more likely to drop rupees. I think that was the 
the old man whose home I bombed. Sounds pretty bad when you say it like that. I guess maybe I did owe him some money. Or emotional damages, if nothing else. Okay, so that's Rock Slide. The Rock Slide connects to whatever's on top of that ladder, right? It must. Yeah, okay. Although, if I defeat the blue centaurs, it might mean bombs. Maybe this is a more strategic position? I think it could be. But Nintendo can't handle all this raw power. All these swords flying around the screen. Alright. I'm full up on bombs, ready to start finding some secrets. Ow. Well, at least it's giving me hearts right after I get hurt. Alright, what is going on on this screen? What are these rocks trying to communicate to me? Who could the bump? What message does these rock what message is held by these rocks for me specifically? Hmm. Oh sweet. You can totally stun a motionless pea hat. Alright, after these centaurs are defeated, I want to try burning each one of these trees. Because I'm going to say this qualifies as a dead end. I don't remember finding secrets by burning trees. I don't remember that being a thing. But I don't remember finding secrets by bombing trees either. And the question is, what part of the of the tree am I supposed to be burning? I'm assuming like the bottom part of the trunk. Okay, that's not a thing. Do any of these rocks move? Am I supposed to do something while standing in like the center point here? The Nexus. It's not going to be that. Can I push the trees? No. Okay, it has to be bombing them. Like, that's why there are so many blue centaurs around. Theoretically, it should be giving me bombs with which to bomb those trees. And that just ain't happening. What's going to happen, though? Like, is it going to... Is it the tree going to disappear and there will be a staircase? I don't know, maybe this is some sort of hint for what part of this wall up here I'm supposed to bomb. Hmm... Okay, well...
I suppose I'm done here. Again, apologies to everyone who knows exactly what I'm supposed to do. And you're all yelling at your television screens or smart device. You're just yelling that it's so obvious. Like, how, how dare I not al already know the answer, right? Okay, well... I guess for right now it's back to level 6. Which I'm not going the right way. If I want to get to level 6, but I'm just going to, to warp whistle or, or fast travel back anyway. Oh, these are like, uh, the Goma is like a giant version of one of these spiders. That's cute. I never noticed that before. I wonder if that means these are super weak to the, to the bow and arrow too. No. Just, just regular week. I was thinking that maybe the soul, maybe like the rock formation with the pointing arrow would have something to do with getting the silver arrow. Because I don't know how you do that either. So yeah, once once you're at the Lost Hills, you pretty much can't go anywhere. Unless there's a secret path to get to getting through here too. Wonder if it was the same or I wonder if it's the opposite of the path to take me through the Lost Woods. Because I want to go east instead of west. So that would be what? South East. No. What was the other one? It was... Northwest, Southwest. So this would be... Southeast, Northeast. South. East. North. East. Nope. Okay. Well, let's use the warp whistle. I'm, I'm sorry, the magic flute. I'm sorry, the recorder. And try to get somewhere useful. Alright, this is what, level 2? Okay. Not exactly where I want to be, but... I do just want to refresh my memory about something. Because there's a big fat question mark on the screen, and I don't remember what it was for. I want to say it was just uh, a moblin that gave me money. But usually the question marks are for more important stuff. Okay, well, whatever it was. Uh, it's gone now. Unless the question mark refers to something else. Which is possible. Like, most of the question marks are either for fast travel points or important items. Like, there was one for the bracelet. And there's one for the shop where, where you get the... the blue ring. 
And I don't think they would put a question mark on a screen for... For a rupee cash. Like, that doesn't seem important enough. Maybe the rupee cash was a red herring. Or maybe I should just wait until I have the red candle to try all these bushes. Yeah, like the ones on the edges, you don't really have a good position to try to burn them. Alright, so I'm here, which means, sorry, right, hang on. Okay, I, I think I'm just going to go back to level 6 and keep trying until I either get it or have 68 rupees so I can buy the red potion, which I think will ensure that I get it. Like, it'll be much, much, much easier because I'm pretty sure every time you drink the potion, it refills your health completely. So if I have the red potion, that's two complete heals. And I, I remember that because it takes an excruciatingly long time to fill up all, all of your hearts while it makes a terrible noise. So I, I remember that. Oops. <clears throat> Wait a second. What's the, what's the deal with this lone bush? Nothing. Okay. What about this lone bush? Okay, nothing. What about this? This lone... I missed. Okay, what about the other two lone bushes over to the left? To the west? I missed again. I think I missed. Be a lot. Thanks. I just realized that Lady's Hint for getting through the Lost Woods uses cardinal directions, and I don't think anything else in this game does. Like, there's not even, like, a compass rose showing which direction is north. It might have been hard for a kid, you know, playing this at the time, who doesn't necessarily know which way is north and doesn't necessarily, you know, have a way to find that information. Okay, I need to stop screwing around. I need to... Kill these Otter Rocks. Replenish my hearts. Thank you, Fairy. And I just need to knuckle down and get through Dungeon 5. Alright, so green. Brown. Key hat? Yeah. doing a better job at remembering stuff than I could possibly be doing. Which isn't saying much. Also, I'm in the wrong place. 
I remembered which one was the pea hats, but I don't need to be where the pea hats are. I need to be where the centaurs are. Uh, the centaurs come after pea hats. Yeah. Okay. And there's an old lady here. If I. I mean, I could buy the blue one. That might be enough to get me through. It sucks because I can't leave the dungeon and come back to buy a potion. You know what? I'm going to buy the blue one. And I'm just going to have that. Have that in the bag. And then. Once I clear all of the rooms, except for the last one, <clears throat> then I will uh, go to the lava room, the lava whiz robe room, and I will be prepared. Also, you can't have both a blue potion and a red potion at the same time. Once, once you drink the red potion, it turns into blue. I, I just thought I might farm some, some easy rupees, maybe. Or some additional bombs. Doesn't look like that's happening. Also, I I forgot which uh, which one of these had the stairs under it. I thought it was on the right. That might have been dungeon five. Is there really nothing else in the tail? I kind of feel like that was just a dead end. But aesthetically, it's Oh, seems very odd to me that that would be a dead end. Oh my god, these things do so much damage, I hate them. I hate the whiz robes, and I wish them ill. Well, at least they gave me bombs. That's something, I guess. I'm sure I, I already tried bombing these walls. But I'm... Um, okay, yeah, and this is just a hint. See, it says aim at the eyes of Goma, which... That specific wording makes it, uh, that sort of... I, I think that's a hint to use the bow and arrow. Because you don't really aim a sword. I mean, you can. You know, you can aim at something's weak spot. But the word is more evocative of... The bow and arrow. Ooh, goodies. I like goodies. Alright, I feel like the ending of this video would be kind of an anticlimax because I already finished the dungeon. So, you know, it'll j be just me getting the magic wand. Yeah, like, I was hoping to have the magic wand, you know, once I remembered that this dungeon had the magic wand, I was hoping to have that and the magic sword by the end of this video. It's gonna make me wait a little longer for the magic sword, though. Which, I mean, this is only level 6, you know, I still have three dungeons, so... Possibly after level 7 would be magic sword time. There's an equivalent of the Wiz Robe in Binding of Isaac too, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure... Like, there must be an... an I mean, by now, if you include, like, all of the, the re-releases in DLC, I'm sure there's an equivalent of everything. It's like the Simpsons of video games. Binding of Isaac did it. Um, but, like, in the, in the original Isaac, I think there were equivalents of... Specifically, the Wizrobes and, and the Knights. 
and I hated them. I hate all of them. I hate them and their non-union Mexican equivalents. <sighs> no, don't go back to the... Hmm... Thank you. Ah. Kill a bunch of gargoyles. And then if I can make it back to that room without dying... I mean, I'm gonna have to be careful. Because I can't let my health get too low, because the whiz robes just deal so much damage. And there are so few iframes that I have to be careful to use the potion when my health is low. Oh jeez. <gasps> do, the, do the blue whiz robes not get knocked back? It seems like they don't. Like even a, even a straight on hit doesn't seem to affect their momentum at all. Makes them more of a hassle. I wonder if the magic wand even works on whiz robes. Like, are, th are they immune? Because before you get the book, I mean, they're immune to the, the candle's fire. So, so maybe, like, after you get the book, maybe the wand doesn't work on them. But before you get the book, it shoots the same type of projectile that, that the whiz robe shoots. And I wonder if it's vulnerable to its own damage type. Okay, well that's two rooms I won't have to clear again as long as I stay in this dungeon. Which is why I really wanted the... the red potion. Mm-mm, 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 Not today, meat pancakes. That's the title of my autobiography. Once more into the breach. It kind of sucks because I can't really skip the easy enemies or the easy rooms. Like, I have to kill them just in case they, they drop health. Maybe I should use some of these bombs. Wonder how long I've been sitting at 12 without noticing it. Not that the bombs are a super great strategy against the whiz robes, but they are somewhat effective. What if I clear out that room and it's not where the magic wand is? Like, I'm boned. I'd have no idea what to do. Like, I'd have to go through the entire dungeon again, painstakingly bombing walls and, and pushing blocks. Like, it has to be that. They wouldn't make a room that nightmarish without putting the dungeon item there. Like, what if I have to push one of those blocks in some direction that I missed? I wonder if the three-headed dragon responds. Nope. Because it's not technically 
boss of the dungeon. I mean, not that it, you know, drops anything if it did respawn. It didn't even, like, drop health or anything. Like a heart, or a fairy, or some rupees. It was a totally unnecessary fight. Oh, that makes me all prickly. Crud. Oh, that's nice. That's good to see. I feel like the, the lake like almost has to have another weakness. Like with how many hits, hits they take. Oh, or maybe I was just expected to find the extra heart containers and have the magic sword by now. I don't know. Maybe I'll take, the, take a look at closer look at the manual after this video and see if there are any uh, any more hints oh I forgot this room was dark shit oh and bombs aren't really a good idea here are they well I'm gonna have them out anyway just in case Okay. Potion. Nah, it's like Neil's on a chalkboard. It's worse because it lasts so long. The whiz robes. Oh, the blue ones can just go over the lava. Well, they can teleport over, over the lava. It doesn't look like they can land there. That one seems to be stuck in a loop. I was going to say they, they don't obey the same rules as the other enemies with, with regards to whether they can come onto my ladder or not. I guess let's try clearing this room and see if anything happens. Ah. Let's try bombing this wall just in case I haven't already. This is where I fought the boss. I've been to the rooms on the left and the right. They wouldn't put a secret door in the Triforce room. I've already been to the left, and there's not going to be something north because that's off the map. I mean, it gave me bombs when I defeated the Wiz Robes. So it has to have something to do with bombing something. Or maybe it doesn't. Who knows? Who knows? tried all three of those walls. They were right in the center, so I'm not going to waste bombs trying them again. I'm barely
really sure that I tried both of these walls. I'll try them again. Maybe I skipped this direction because I thought this was the edge of the map? No. I know I tried both of these walls. Like this wall to the north, I'm positive. And the one to the left, I've already been that way. Oh, what haven't I done? Like, there are other r rooms full of whiz orbs that I ha haven't cleared out, I guess. But I tried all, all of these walls. Like, I'm fairly certain that I have. At some point. Wait. Did it let me push that in a different direction? Oh, Jesus. I don't think I did. I think I'm grasping at straws. But when straws are all you have, you know, when everything looks like a straw, grasp is your only verb. Okay, so I think I can push that in all four directions, but it's going to leave me the same place every time, right? Like, it's not going to open a passage somewhere different if I push it from a different side. That would just be cruel. Alright, and it's like, it's not going to be I have to put a bomb on the stairs and get past get past the stairs to go to go to the door somehow. That's not going to be a thing. Wait, no. Wait. I've oh, I've definitely definitely tried this wall. Okay. Well, now I'm going to have to get more bombs, leave and get more bombs and come back. <sighs> well, let's try my extremely half-baked block theory. You can push it from any direction, which is unusual compared to previous blocks that I've that I've tried to push. Alright. So pushing from the bottom leads me there. That is the right most hip hop room. Alright, that was pushing from the bottom. Pushing from the right. I mean, it's going to have to be an underground chamber, right? That's not on the map. Either that or one of the empty spaces. Alright, pushing from the right leads me to the same place. from the top. Wait, does does the dot show up on the map before I travel there? It looked like it did, which means all of that was unnecessary. Although the dot didn't show up on the map prematurely that time, and I'm sure I've, I've already tried pushing from the left. No, the dot doesn't show up early. It was just the screen transition, I think. 
Yeah, the dot the dot shows up like a second before you finish going up the ladder. Okay, it may be invalid of me to assume that the dungeon item is always going to be past a secret secret passageway, because this time the boss was past the secret passageway. Right? And in the past, like the boss was always on a on a different path from the dungeon item. Alright, all I can think is try to clear these rooms a whiz robes. I don't like this plan. Because I've never actually killed every enemy in this room because you don't have to to progress. But maybe you have to for some other reason. Like, is, is this just going to end up being how you get the wand? You have to kill all these, like, will the wand just spawn? Oh, I should have done retry. Or it might be too late for that. I don't know. I was thinking maybe if I tr if I chose retry instead of continue, it would have loaded me to a previous save before I used the potion. But I think I've I've ar already died once since then. I don't know. I feel like I've been in this dungeon for 6,000 years. I've been in this dungeon since the time of the Mesopotamians. Entire cultures have lived and died in the time I've been in this dungeon. I wonder if I can just run straight through that room. That would be funny. Have I cleared this room? I'm, I may not have. This room looks more... <sighs> this room looks more likely to have a re reward associated with it though. Just because of how unusual the layout is. No. You walk in a room and, and you just immediately get hit. And then everything just spirals out of control from there. Alright, I'm just going to have my candle ready. I'm slowly building my wallet back up. Won't be too much longer before I have enough to buy the red potion. However, now that I don't know what to do, <laughs> I'm, I'm a lot more a lot more disillusioned. Um, I, I really thought. Clearing that room was going to be the secret. Yeah, I, I can just walk straight through there. I really thought that would be the thing. Alright, stand still. So how's everyone doing? I'm 
doing fine. I've been playing a video game. You may have heard of it. It's called The Legend of Zelda. Period. No subtitle. Just The Legend of Zelda. Or you may know it better as The Hyrule Fantasy. Which I think that was the... Or no, even in Japan it was The, the Legend of Zelda Hole in the Hyrule Fantasy, I think. Because they've all been... Zelda Densetsu. Maybe, uh... Maybe clear this room. Maybe this would be easier. Wait, how much were potions? I know I know I wrote it down. Was it 68? Yeah. Okay, 40 and 68. One short of being the nice price. Oh, I'm getting lucky fighting these leaders at least. And that, that must only be limited to certain groups of enemies, right? Like, if, if I clear these two Wizor- Wizorb? Wizrobe rooms and nothing happens, I don't know what to do. Like, as far as I know, I bombed every wall and pushed every rock in this dungeon. Like, that, that's my last hope. If it's not that, I'm gonna have to call the video. Maybe consult the manual and see if there are any additional hints. I don't think there would be. Like, it shows you a picture of the wand. Oh, Jesus Christ. It shows you a picture of the wand, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it doesn't give you any information that would be useful to obtaining it. Two more rupees. Two more rupees. One more rupee. Not if only a whiz robe would drop a clock. Can you imagine how nice that'll be? How nice that would be if it would ever happen. It's had to have happened at least once, right? Or maybe whiz robes just never drop clocks. It's not in their programming. It's not in their digital DNA. I'm just gonna try pushing this block in a different direction. Okay, it's gonna do the same thing every time. It's not going to like open up an alternate set of stairs. Can all the blocks be pushed in any- well... All the dungeon blocks? No, I'm pretty sure that first one couldn't, right? Like, it could only be pushed... Left. If I kill one, leave the room and come back... That one's gone for good, right?
Potion. I've got a potion notion. And I ain't boasting. She's not gonna like jack up the price after I buy these, is, is she? No. Good. Yeah, I could have sworn the red potion was like a hundred something. I must be thinking of a potion in a different Zelda game. Alright, so I'm going to save it. Until I clear out the rooms that I've al already cleared at some point. Hey, bombs! Nice. That's something. Well, they dr <laughs> I dropped a clock, but not until I defeated the leader. Go figure. I'm really glad this is before they added a little grunt every time Link swings his sword. I think that was basically when the Zelda games stopped being good. Which I guess would have been Ocarina of Time, which checks out. But then for the Game Boy Advance version of Link to the Past, they went in and they added the grunt from the later games. Which means that version of the game sucks. I, I like the tiny little brief grunt in this when when Link, Link takes, takes damage. Like that's all all you need. Like I don't need to hear constant yelling while I play video games. If I wanted. to that, I'd watch some Let's Players on YouTube, am I right, folks? And I think that crap's been in, like, every Zelda game since then. I don't know. I haven't played all, all of them. I don't think it was in Minish Cap. Because I remember liking Minish Cap. Definitely been in all the 3D Zelda games. Although it might have been less pronounced in... Uh, Breath of the Wild. Like, I don't remember... Being... Quite so annoyed by it. Well... Now I don't have to worry about my shield getting eaten because it already has been. Oh, and that means I cannot block the wizard beams now. Awesome. I got a little fixated on the heart there. I'm going to clear this room. If it kills me... I mean, it can't kill me because then I wouldn't have cleared the room. Alright, I might do some, some off... off-screen ruby grinding. Alright. I cleared the first one. I'm going to clear the second one, hopefully only using one potion in the process, and then I'll clear the one with all the lava. And if I don't get the wand, then I give up. For now.
I'm I'm fairly certain at this point that this, this the solution doesn't involve bombing because I had to have bombed every single wall, every single bombable wall in this dungeon at some point. I can't block those. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare without the shield. Okay, in that case, I'm going straight to the lava room. Because that looks like a room that something is going to appear in the middle of once all the enemies are dead. And I have two potions, so even without the shield, I should be able to brute force my way through it. Oh, crikey. Can't block these fireballs now. Alright, I have my candle out, which I want. Can I walk into one of these rooms and not immediately get hit? Is that a possibility? Okay. I'm using one. Screw it. I want to clear this room. I'm going to clear this room. If I can do this without dying, then I will try to clear the next room. The other room. Um, um, I mean, unless I get the, the wand. Which I really hope I do. I really hope I get the wand for clearing this room. I'm gonna have to use my other potion. Mm. Yeah, not risking it. I know there's only two. But I am only one. That sounds meaningful, but it's really not. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I've tried bombing here. That's nothing. Definitely killed all this stuff. If I clear this room... Wait, have I? Oh my... It does like three hearts of damage when you touch them. I should save one. I, I had to have cleared this room. This is just the one that takes me... Oh. My god. I am going to have... Such a cow. You can't even imagine much of a cow I'm about to have, y'all. 
Get ready. Beef is back on the menu. I don't know what any of that meant. I don't care. I got the wand. I got the wand. I can just do this all day. I have an infinite range weapon. You know what that means? It means it probably doesn't work on wizard robes. But that's okay. It works on other stuff. It works on gargoyles. Who needs full health? Who needs to shoot a sword beam? I have a magic wand. I'm trying to determine if it is as strong as my sword or if it's weaker than my sword. Yeah, it does not work on wizards. But you know what? I am just fine with that. In fact, I'm, I'm so fine with it, I'm not going to let you uh, defeat me. I'm going to save the game. But on my own terms. I've died tw 24 times in this video. Uh, I've died more times in this video than I have in all the other videos combined. But that's okay, because I have a magic wand. Oh, it kills Octoroks in one hit. Also, it, it looks like the wand itself is a damage tile. You know, just like the sword. So, <clears throat> you know, I don't have to hit something, an enemy with the beam. I can just whack him with the rod. And also shoot the beam. At the same time. So once I find the book, that'll upgrade this thing to fireballs, but I don't think you can use it to burn bushes because you, you can't aim it in a, in a specific spot, like it just kind of goes to the edge of the screen. Can I kill Solas? I can. Okay, so it's as powerful as the, med as the, uh, the white sword. Oh, I'm so, so, so happy to find that out. Oh, man. It's all worth it. It's not. That was way too much time and effort. But... I'd be, I'd be lying if I, if I said I wasn't a little satisfied right now. Okay, well that will do it for uh, this episode. Uh, how long has this horror show been going? Uh, three hours. Okay, not bad. I I knew this would be a long one, but um, it didn't go an unreasonable amount of time. Um, so we made. I made so much progress. I can. I can shoot anything, at any time, with magic beams. Which I will demonstrate, right now. Okay, yeah, the blue ones still take two hits. That's okay. What's in this cave? Right. Okay, so I can buy medicine. I have the magic wand. I... Need, I need to buy my shield back. But that's okay. Uh, I'm hopefully one or two heart containers away from... getting the magic sword. Wait, what, what, why would I ever equip the boomerang when I have a magic wand? Such a good sound effect, too. Alright, don't, don't worry. I will be back for medicine. 
I, I have a, a shield to save up for first. Freaking like likes. Ah. I want to try burning some bushes. I'm pretty sure I've already tried to burn these, but that's okay. I just want to make sure. Yeah, and I know I tried burning all four of the ones up there. Okay, well, that'll do it. Thanks everyone for watching. I'm sorry for the frustration, but we have a lot to look forward to. Um, I have no idea what level 7 holds. I'm excited to discover it. I have a magic wand, which whatever whatever's in level 7 will help. Um, so tune in next time when I will be making my way back to the lake without the fairy. Playing my magic flute and seeing what I see. Bye everyone.